getting things done on a Monday. Yes, it's gonna be good. I was able to throw on a tiny, tiny bit of makeup today. I do find when I wear makeup that not only does like, I just feel like I can do all the homeschooling and achieve all the goals, but I also don't pick at my acne when I have makeup on. And I need to stop picking at it because I think we're getting it because I haven't had pop in two days now. I've been drinking a lot of water and the pain in the acne is leaving and I haven't had any new ones pop up. So we're drinking so much water. This is not all, this wasn't completely full. This is a half gallon. It was like probably here. So <laughs> that's how much I drink so far today. But I'm going to drink a whole one of these today because it helps. So for, um, okay, so, <laughs> oh gosh, this is bringing me back to when I was in school because the way I learn has not changed. I feel like not necessarily the way I learn, but like what I comprehend, I guess more so like grade five math and English. I'm like. Alex and I already watched this video this morning and I have to rewatch it because I have no idea. I can't comprehend things. So I'm rewatching this. This is what I'm doing this morning. Um, our Google Meet. Ellie, are you happy Alex is done with school for the day? <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you darling. <laughs> I think she's happy you're done, buddy. Yeah. Oh. She was in my room the whole time. I know. Let her snuggle in India. Oh. I'm getting out of the house today. We're doing well with the weekly goals. <laughs> the kids aren't with me though. They didn't want to come. I don't know. It's not quite safe to be walking outside yet in our neighborhood anyways because the snow banks are so high. The roads are very narrow. The sidewalks, sidewalks aren't done so... I didn't force the walk today, although it is a, it's kind of mild out. Anyway, the kids finished school for the day, so we are at Tim Hortons. Uh, we, I mean me, I'm at Tim Hortons. I thought I'd get them like a afternoon treat. I'm so proud of those kids. Like, oh my gosh, I literally cry every day of my life. Like, I'm not kidding you. I cry every day. <laughs> but. I'm just so proud of them. They're doing so well and uh, it's not easy. They're doing so freaking good, you guys, with the home learning. Oh, I should wear a mask. You guys mentioned in the video, um, one of my videos, I asked if you guys wear a mask in the drive-thru and a lot of you guys were like, yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't even think of it. So I'm going to start doing it. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So we're going to get a treat. But I'm proud of them. I'm so proud of them. So I was like, I'm going to go to Tim Hortons and get a little treat. And then it's an outing for me. So I think we're going to get some Timbits. You guys, I'm still receiving Christmas cards. And I am here for it. This card I got today from Jessica. You guys probably know Jessica. There she is. Look at her beautiful family. She makes videos here on YouTube. I'll link her channel in the description box, but there's her four kiddos and her hubby. Her channel's The Gentry Balance, and I met her, oh my gosh, years ago now. Jessica, how long? Like five or six years ago? Seven even? I don't know. In the early, early days of YouTube. So anyways, thank you so much for the card, Jessica. I love it. Me and the house two days in a row. Happy Tuesday, guys. So... I went to the pet store because like we got a few little toys for Ellie before we went and picked her up and uh, they were just basic little toys but now that we know her and know what she likes and you know we know her personality we we're like she needs toys like the toys we have she loves but there's like certain toys that I knew she would like you know really really love. So like any other cat, she loves hiding. So we just got her one of these like things. You know what I mean? <laughs> Same thing as kids. I used to have one of those for my kids. I got her this like thing on a stick. We have one, but she broke it. And this one comes with catnip. 
but she's gonna love that. But this is what I'm very excited for her. It's like um, it's like a thing that it stands and then it has like a stick and she can like play with the toy. Because we actually have like a makeshift one right now that we're using that we kind of just made on our own. And she absolutely loves it. So that's what I picked up for Miss Ellie. And my outing for the day. <laughs> Do not tell my kids, but I'm at Starbucks without them. I want to try the pistachio latte. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? Hi, can I get a grande uh, pistachio latte? For sure, anything else? Uh, no, that's everything. I've been hearing people say that the pistachio latte is really good, but I hear you need an extra pump, but I don't know. I got it regular. My kids love Starbucks. Like, they love it. Probably more than me. Well, I just feel like a treat, you know? <laughs> Grade five uh, English was a lot today. <laughs> Alex and I, oh my gosh. That's where I struggle the most is with like reading comprehension. And uh, anyway, I was trying to help him with, with something that I skimmed over. It was a lot. Anyways, my turn. We'll do a quick taste test. I'm in another drive-thru. <laughs> I'm at Wendy's picking up lunch. <laughs> so, grocery days tomorrow, guys. <laughs> I did another Walmart online order, but this is what it looks like. Just regular, you know, cup. It's hot. It's hot. <gasps> oh, I like that. Oh, that's... I really like that. I get it. I get that hype, for sure. I don't know if I would put an extra pump in. Because I'm okay with drinks that aren't crazy, crazy sweet. But if you did like crazy sweet drinks, maybe an extra pump would be good. But if you don't I don't know it's still sweet it's just it's delicious it tastes like pistachios which I thought would be weird but it's not 10 out of 10 it is actually quite sweet mmm I like that hey guys welcome to Wednesday so <laughs> the world is uh, my world anywhere where I live it's just so disappointing you guys it's so disappointing we are in lockdown 2.0 <laughs> we're in lockdown again here um on prince Edward island and i'm mad i don't like to complain but i just feel like <sighs> we did everything they asked and i get it like i know like i'm not in the medical field like I have no place to be like <laughs> you know what I mean I'm just mad I think that's a valid feeling to have right now and um, I'm I'm mad and I'm just like Ugh. so our kids are not going back to school that's fine I mean I'd love for them to be back but it's fine uh, but our restaurants are closed our gyms are closed uh, like, I, we're down to, you're only allowed to be in your household, so I am not allowed to visit my parents, they are not allowed to come visit me or my kids, uh, I'm not allowed to go see my nephew, like, you're only allowed to be in your household. And I'm just like, ugh. I'm not even gonna cry because I'm just too mad to cry, but I'm just like, I got vaccinated. I'm not quite due for my booster yet, but when I have an appointment to get my booster when I'm due to get boosted. Trevor has all of his, he has three doses. I got my kids vaccinated. My parents have all their vaccines and boosters. Like we did everything they told us to do and we're still locked down and like I'm not allowed to go visit my mom. And like, there's people at like football games and hockey games and concerts. And I think that's wonderful. <laughs> like, I feel like, I don't know. I just, I just felt like that's what it would be like. You know what I mean? Once we did all of that and it's not, and we're locked down and 
it's frustrating and it's annoying and I'm mad and I don't know. So I just wanted to update you guys on that because you guys know how close I am with my family and I'm always with them and Sunday dinners and like mom is supposed to be here tonight for dinner because it's Wednesday and in the grand scheme of things like I understand like I know like I understand but I just I'm mad that we're still here and we're locked down. <laughs> I, wanted to up I just wanted to update you guys about what it's like where I'm living because I do share so much of my life on here. And currently we are under lockdown again. They say it's for two weeks, but we've heard that before. <laughs> in March of 2020 I thought that was supposed to be two weeks as well but anyway I understand like I know like where I, I'm, I'm on a little island our resources here are limited the space here is limited in hospital I understand but I'm just I'm not even mad at anyone in particular I'm just mad you know what guys we get through it got through March 2020 I'll get through January 2022 God, six. but I have a grocery order to pick up today, so that will be my little outing today. Going to Walmart. I placed a fairly big order, so maybe I'll share that with you guys once I pick it up. The kids are doing their schoolwork right now. And that's where we're at today on a Wednesday. <laughs> the Walmart online grocery thing is just the most amazing thing ever and i used to do online groceries all the time like pre-covid and i am just back to loving it but i love walmart because they put them in these boxes and it's so easy to like lug in the house and they're recyclable so they're easy to I mean, we only get recycling picked up once a month, so that's kind of annoying. But I break them all down and put them in one big box. Uh, but I'm sure I could reuse these, though. I could tell them I have my own boxes. Maybe I might start doing that. But I really don't want to take everything. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I really just don't want to take everything out and show it. But I'll do a quick little... I picked up a few different pasta sauces. Um... I got some stove top. I like to put this on potatoes. That was a substitution. But I think Alex might like that. More pasta sauce. Tacos. We were out of salt. Um, there's fruit all in this one. Bagels. Cappuccinos. Potatoes. Uh, look at this one. Groceries uh yeah so we have strawberries blackberries chicken hot dogs i love these things for a quick uh is it missing something is it missing crackers <gasps> yeah look that one's missing crackers <laughs> anyway i like that for like a quick snack I ordered Pillsbury croissants and they gave me pizza dough, but whatever. I don't really care. I prefer to make my own pizza dough, but bacon, yo Greek yogurt, ham. I also like these for quick snacks. Hot dog buns, coffee, bread, crackers, pasta, Cheerios, Nutella. You guys know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like croissants chips lucky charms pringle i mean obviously i was feeling a little snackish when i ordered but it's all good hi babies hi babies you finish your school for today I just finished doing a little bit of cleaning, as you've seen. Florence just received all of this makeup in the mail today from Sherry. Sherry sent Florence all of this makeup. 
I cannot believe it. It is, oh, look at it all. Florence is in literally cloud nine right now. Look at these palettes. They scream Florence for sure. Thank you so much, Sherry. You were so kind to send all of this along to Florence. And she sent some chocolate over to Alex. Florence loves this bag. She's like, it reminds me of Clueless. And it does. It reminds me of Cher from Clueless for sure. My natural hair is wild. I kind of like it. I haven't worn it natural in a long time. Well, I mean yesterday. This is second day hair, but in a long, long time. And I like it. I'm pretty sure it was this time last week where I was crying <laughs> about the home learning and stuff. I feel like this week we are just in a much better place with it. And, um, this week went really well with the home learning. Do you like home learning better or in class better? Be honest. What do you like better? Home learning. Do you? You like spending the day with me? Look how tall this boy is. Like, you guys. Look. He is... Stand up straight. And I'll stand up straight. <laughs> and I'll stand straight. He is... 10 years old. <laughs> In um, five foot. He's almost as tall as his mom. Anyway, it's going well. Much We're in a better place this week than we were last week, than this time last week, for sure. And next week, probably even a better place. I don't know. I think we're going to be in the home learning for a while. Definitely till February anyway. Happy Friday, guys. We made it to the weekend. I'm not going to lie. My mood is low. <laughs> uh, but look at this. She's coming to snuggle me. But it's okay. I'm okay. I'm just, you know. Feeling the energy low. Feeling the mood low. Feeling very blah. Went into this week thinking we would visit my parents more. You know, get out of the house. Get the kids out of the house. Go for walks. Well, turns out my children don't like walking in the winter. <laughs> they don't like walking in the... And I don't, I mean, I don't know why. I don't blame I hate walking in the winter too, but <sighs> can't really get out of the house, you know? So I'm feeling like a little like trapped in my four walls, which is the point, I think. It's what we should be doing. But <sighs> anyway, so what I'm doing to get my spirits up is I booked a staycation for... Uh, it's in another couple of months. So hopefully we're out of lockdown by then. If not, it's totally cool to cancel, like full refund, everything like that. It's not a big deal. But Trevor and I booked a staycation last night for the fam. And we're very excited for it. We usually do some sort of winter staycation. And it's something to look forward to and it's making me happy. It's something to plan for. It's something to... Because... It just literally feels like we, there's not like we do school <laughs> at least before, like we could still, you know, have Sunday dinners at mom's. I have a big Wednesday dinner here with my, my mom. Um, you know, she's my best friend. Like she's a huge, huge person in my life. And it's hard whenever they kind of rip that from you. It's like, ugh. although we are allowed to support people. And I'm like, what's considered support people? Because I'm like teetering at like, I think mom's a support person. <laughs> I don't know. I have to look into it more. But anyways, um, I'm tearing up even talking about it. But so we planned a staycation. I'm looking forward to that. So the kids are very excited about that. So we have something in the works to look forward to, to talk about, you know. So that's helping a lot. Another thing is we actually have... I never talked about this on here yet at all, but we have a huge vacation booked for 2023, which we booked a long time ago, like maybe in the summer. Yeah, we booked it in the summer, early summer we booked it. It's very exciting. It's very big. It's going to be like epic. I'm so excited for this vacation. Uh, it's still... We're going in February 2023, so it's it's like a year away. It's a little over a year away. 
and I haven't even been thinking about it because it's so far away. Like we booked it like in the summer. So it was like close to two years away. So I haven't really thought much about it, but I think what I'm going to do is to start getting excited for that vacation and plan it. And when Trevor and I went on our cruise in 2020, we used to watch videos like every weekend of cruises and the ship we were going on and people's blogs of being on the ship and stuff. And we were just like a way to like get excited for the trip. And like, so I think I'm going to do similar things I think I'm going to do something similar, like to so start looking into the vacation we have booked and like people's videos and all that kind of stuff and just get excited for it and get my mind in someplace positive and happy because it's like it's really crappy right now. When is about to start class? <laughs> There's Alex. Look what I got, guys. We got boxy chair. Am I in frame? Well, yeah, but the stuff you showed us. Yeah, but is my face in the camera? Like, can you see my face? No, you can see your face, but it's kind of at a weird angle. Oh, you want to fix it for me? Yeah. I'm trying to use my back camera more than my front camera because it's like such good quality. Is that's, that better? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I checked the mail and I got boxy charm, and the kids and I just went out and got some Starbucks. I'm like. I gotta get out of this house and the kids deserved a little Starbucks treat. They haven't had Starbucks in a long time and neither have I. Anyway, I got the pistachio latte. So good, you guys, highly recommend it. Mm -mm -mm. So this came and I, this is my first time looking in it. I haven't opened it or anything. So, I'll show you guys real quick what I got. Honestly, I'm thinking about canceling BoxyCharm. I do this now and then because I have accumulated a lot of stuff and I need to go through it. And usually when that happens, I'll cancel BoxyCharm for like six months and go through all my skincare, go through all my makeup. And then once I feel like I'm running out of stuff, then I'll resubscribe. And I think I'm at that point. Dragon Beauty Lip Job Liner. I don't have, no, I did have, I don't know if I've ever tried Dragon Beauty. I'm really not sure. But I know Dragon Beauty. Oh, oh my gosh, it came with a little you pencil. Dragon Beauty? Dragon Beauty, Nikita Dragon. Yeah, it's her, her, um, her line. makeup line. So this is a lip job liner. It's huge. I don't know if you can tell how big this lip liner is. Um, I don't like browns on me, but I do find I can still use them and put like a pink over it and it just like mixes, you know, I really like that it comes with a sharpener though. Not crazy excited over this, but I think I will be able to get use out of it. It's just like not my favorite color. That's all. That is $18. Pure, fully charged mascara powdered by magnet technology. So I'm not gonna be using this right away because I have so many mascaras from Vlogmas. This is $22. That's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. I'll definitely use it, just not right away. Pharmacy Feeling Good Holodratic, I don't wanna say that word. Acid, okay. yeah. Lauren said it for me. Say it again. Holographic. No, not holographic. Something acid. Plumping serum. And this is $44. So it's supposed to smooth out the look of fine lines. So I will use that for sure. What is this? Radiant Balm. Earth and Harbor Radiant Balm. So this is vitamin C, A, E, and K, omegas. I don't I think it's, it's a moisturizer. Ooh, that is so fancy. Okay, it's sealed, that's good. I can't smell it, but I'm scared it's frozen. 
I don't know how long I was in the mailbox for. It would only be a couple hours because I checked the mail last night. Dive into glowing skin. Yeah, so that's like a moisturizer, I guess. And then, did I tell you how much that was? $38. And this is $40. And when I say the amounts, that's in American dollars. So in Canada, it would be much, much more. Okay, this is Aesthetica Contouring Cream Series. Oh, this is cream contour? <gasps> Florence, look at this. Oh, it's cool, it's cool. It gives you like a little guide thing. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I really like that. I love, I love playing with that type of stuff. And the older I get, the more <laughs> I love cream makeup. Why are you laughing? Does that make me sound old? No. Thanks. So I got a cream contouring palette. That's awesome. So you know what? Um, I'm canceling BoxyCharm for the time being. Not because I don't love it and I it's nothing like that. It's just, I just have so much. I just need to go through it, you know? Oh, look at Ellie. She's a baby. Oh my gosh. I want a pistachio latte every day of my life. So good. Are you guys secretly best friends? Yes. <laughs> Aww, she loves you so much. She's tired. She's tired. Are you just playing? Yeah. Looks like you guys were playing. <laughs> Hi, baby. Aww. I got another Christmas card in my P.O. box. Mateo, it arrived. I got your card. I love it. It's cute. Very cute. I'm going to write you back. And uh, so you're going to get a Christmas card from me probably by the time it arrives to you. It would be February, but it will arrive. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love it. So I did cancel BoxyCharm, and this is what I mean by I have I'm, – I'm running out of breath because I was running. I wasn't running. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was going up the stairs. It wasn't running. Look at this. It has dust on it. Oh. Anyway, this is all skincare. And this is what I mean by I got to go through it, you know, I got to go through all of this. Some of it, obviously, I'm already using. Okay, you guys, no more down in the dumps. No more feeling sorry for myself and being mad at the world because it's not getting me very far. <laughs> I've tried this whole week. I've been, I don't know, just the, the news of lockdown really, really affected me and I wasn't really expecting it. Like... I just didn't think we'd ever get to that point again. Like, not to get too into it, but, like, we have, like, a 97% fully vaccination rate where I live on this island. We're all vaccinated. <laughs> oh, it's just so, like, whatever. Anyway, it is what it is. Feeling bad about it. Being mad about it. Feeling depressed about it. Crying over it. It's not helping. It's not getting me very far. It's just making things worse. So I felt what I needed to feel. I'm going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving. That's the goal next week keep it moving. Yes, I can't see my mom, but I will eventually. It's not gonna be like this forever. I will. They're saying it's for two weeks, so maybe I'll be seeing her in two weeks. I'm grateful I still have my mom, you know? Oh, I could cry, but um. anyways, we're gonna keep it moving. I'm cleaning. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes when I get in these like depressive like Bunks, I just need to like start doing something productive and like so I've been cleaning not a crazy amount but you guys seen I went through my skincare canceled my box charm that felt good and productive and like I did something good because I really don't need it right now and I am listening to audiobooks so I'm li listening to a book right now called wintering it has high reviews I'm finding it a little slow <laughs> I don't read books, I listen to them, so anyway, I'm finding it a little bit slow going, but everyone says that it's good, so I'm going to keep listening. Uh, and I'm going to tackle my closet, 
this weekend go through some stuff going into next week guys i think i'm going to end my weekly vlogs with like little goals for myself for the next week i don't know i just find it helpful for myself so just to put it out there and say it out loud but my goals for next week rock the home learning we did really well this week with the home learning really 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 well with it um not that i'm doing anything but you know i, I actually i end up doing a lot because i I just don't want them not passing in things and I'm just making sure that they're doing what they need to do. So I got to like know what they need to be doing. And then I find that hard because comprehension for me is a real, real struggle. Anyway, but we're going to do well with the home learning this week coming up. I don't know. I really should get out for walks, but like uh, walking in the winter is so like, I just don't like it, but maybe I'll try it again. I don't know. And, uh, I just think the main goal is to be keep it moving with the water i got a half gallon of water in twice <laughs> twice this week but i feel like my skin is clearing up i have not had pop no pop at all so we're still off the pop and i feel like it's helping i don't know so maybe we will keep on the water keep doing that but anyways you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me this week uh it hit a it, it hit an unexpected halt with the lockdown was not expecting it but you know it is what it is and next week hopefully we'll feel amazing we'll feel good we will uh get a lot of learning done online and maybe move our body a little that should be a goal shouldn't it i have a gym like <laughs> i have a gym Maybe we'll make that a, a goal. Keep the water intake going. And we're going to keep it moving. And we're going to have a good week. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I thank you so much for hanging out with me for the entire week. And I'll see you guys Wednesday for another vlog. Bye, guys.